Forbes magazine once again has ranked Stockton as the most miserable city in the United States. One, 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 one shot, now the future is yours, go! Yeah, I was building on the next shot. Versus coming daily. Violent criminals in Stockton. Homeless count has increased. Our city has been divided for far too long with different factions. I want to be that bridge for our city. Hey Stockton, I'm standing right here in the heart of the city. And you're probably wondering, who is this guy, where did he come from, and what's he all about? I'm Kevin Lincoln, running for mayor of Stockton. Kevin, at a young age, he was fun, always fun. He was had a lot of energy. He always was looking to help someone. Um, I knew from the beginning Kevin had this, this character of serving others. Kevin, uh, from the days that he was a young man, always was willing to do what he could to help others. He's a hard worker. I, you know, when this whole COVID happened, everything kind of shut down and I was wondering, where's Kevin? And uh, I looked on social media and there he was with the mask on working in the community. Um, in different areas for nonprofits, and you know it was really quiet because a lot of people weren't doing anything because it was so uncertain but Kevin was out there and uh, even with his family working and helping the community and I thought that was very courageous and brave of him. Father God, she bless us with your bodies, let it give us nourishment and strength. But thank you for this time that we have together. Bless those who are unfortunate to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. His role, like over the years, have changed. Like, he's always been a servant, he's always helped people he's always been there for people he's always led people and um, through his studies you know through his jobs like they've always created another platform for him and another opportunity for him to be there for people in different in different ways you know so I'll give you one example uh, when I was working with the youth program we began an outreach to the California Youth Authority to help the young men that had some challenging upbringings and had some of them made some real bad decisions, we were going to try to invest and help and work with them. Kevin was right there with us, right there with me, and I watched him speak from his heart, try to do what he could to reach young men so they could make good decisions so that their lives could, could be those beneficial lives that would impact their communities in positive ways. And as a young man, Kev, Kevin had in his heart to give and to serve in that way. and so. So yeah, that, that's how Kevin has, has served his community. Kevin was responsible for helping us with our outreach in providing food to those that were in need and organizing um, and working with Bread of Life in the various outreaches uh, that we do in our community and was very instrumental in helping with single moms in our church and really providing assistance for those that were in need. Stockton needs a lot of uh, a lot of people like Kevin. Kevin has just answered the call to the need of the community when people have reached out to him and and uh, and had a has asked for his assistant. He is right there, Johnny, on the spot. I would say his humbleness and respect for his parents and for all the people. Our mayor should be focused on the well-being and the overall maintenance for our city.
show the nation that we're not who everybody else says we are. We are who the Stocktonians say we are. And the Stocktonians say that we are. Stockton will leave this state. The naysayers have been saying for so long, I'm here to serve notice here today that the script is flipping right now. Homelessness has impacted my life personally. I'll never forget, I was a sophomore in high school and I just got done playing a basketball game at Lincoln and my mother and I decided to swing by a pharmacy on our way home. As we're walking in, there's this gentleman that called me over. He said, hey young man, you have a dollar? Ask your mom for a dollar. And I had to tell him no. And as I looked at him, it was at that moment that I realized that it was my father that I hadn't seen in several years.